There's that period in spring in Toronto. It's about 10 days where the entire city is just filled with color. All the apple, all those trees are just covered in blossoms. I wanted to get that feeling of renewal, but I wanted to hint at how fugitive that moment is in the calendar. It's, a, it's kind of a moment. You know, you blink, it's over. It started with two elements, exterior pieces, which are called windscreens, and images of tree blossoms that go from the ground floor all the way up to the 35th floor. And then we developed a kind of a pixelated image of one of the blossoms, which we have painted over the cladding on the roof of the building. And then a third element was added two years into the project. It's not part of the public art. This is a private part, which is to extend the imagery into the building. The work is a series of photographs integrated into a, a film that is then put into uh, the glazing units of the building. State Windows are doing the installation uh, alongside PCL, a construction company. We're about halfway done the installation. Um, as you can see, the building is still under construction. Um, so it's going to be a few more months until we're wrapping up. Residents will be able to see the effect of the art glass at the ends of the hallways of the floors that they live on. And then from the outside, they'll read as a, as a sort of glowing beacon that run up along the sides of the tower. So it's like a spine of color that runs up the building. The colors are typical spring blossom colors. What we've done really is create a kind of new version of stained glass. This project called Spring is actually meaningful to us in many ways. Concord Park Place is a 45-acre big project. It takes a long time to build. At the moment, where you're standing in Tango is our second project. So we are very much in the spring of our career in this development. Public art humanizes the built environment and it invigorates public spaces. It gives community a strong sense of place and identity. My father was an avid gardener. For him, that moment in spring when the trees blossomed, he always found that was the sort of key moment when you were rewarded for winter. I began to learn through Gabriel uh, what their ambitions were for this site. It was really the development of a community and a kind of renewal of land. So it was this idea of renewal that was so key to me.